Hello, Jan. Um, uh, I have a question. Uh, you were in charge of uh, introducing the, the compact disc uh, of Philips into the world. Uh, how did you do it? How did you make made it so important for people to, to, to understand that they, that they wanted it and, and, and so on? Well, could you tell us more about it? Well, one of the first things we did yeah. that was to bring Mr. Herbert von Karajan, mm -hmm. the famous conductor. Uh, he was conducting the Berliner Philharmoniker in Berlin, mm -hmm. but he was also the, uh, the main conductor of the uh, uh, Festspiel of Salzburg. We flew him mm -hmm. in a Philips Mystère yeah. from Salzburg straight away to Los Angeles, yeah. uh, because he had to address the uh, complete uh, American industry yeah. on music. Yeah. And he convinced the American music industry executives yeah. to invest in this famous new Philips invention, being the compact disc. Okay. Uh, Mr. Bakarian already was famous for his high quality records. Mm -hmm. uh, he had special uh, uh, methods to make musical, mm -hmm. fantastic sound and recordings of classical music performances. Mm -hmm. So he was an, uh, a great name, but also uh, a conductor with very high quality requirements. Okay. And at that time, the American music industry was not looking for a new carrier, uh -huh. but they were looking for a new famous artist like John Travolta. Okay. At that time, in the early 80s, yeah. the problem was new artists yeah. and they were not looking for new techniques. Yeah. So against that wall, together with the dire threats, yeah, uh, because we made with them a special contract to bring out the first CD disc mm -hmm. uh, combined with an album with an album with yeah. Dire Threads. Yeah. And that also helped Philips to introduce the, uh, the CD worldwide. Okay. Uh, so so how, how important what was the Dire Straits? Uh, in, in, in well, it was at that time a very popular uh, big, big band. It mm -hmm. still is, but at that time, the early 80s, yeah. they were new and famous. Mm -hmm. And also their repertoire, their music, was uh, excellent uh, to be used on the first CD. Okay, okay, and 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 when did you know that that, that the compact disc was was being a success? Well, we did of course uh, some pre-testing from Japan uh, mm -hmm. to to the the Far East to to America, and yeah. also in several European markets. Yeah. We had the first presentations of the new CD digital sound. Mm -hmm. And it was an, a big, a big difference compared to the normal good mm -hmm. direct cut uh, records. Yeah. So, so we basically convinced people uh, due to the better sound. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we showed already uh, in the mid 70s while working on the CD yeah. that in with the small format, you could have your jogging like a Walkman yeah. with the CD player. Uh -huh. And also this was, and also it could, it could be used in the car. And you know, uh, the cassette tape mm -hmm. in the car was not uh, of that high, high quality. Yeah. So also, uh, we, could, we, could, we could tell them that you can use the CD also in your car. Okay. And so, so increasingly, mm -hmm. there was a big interest for this new Philips invention. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you.